Hey guys, I just wanted to sit down today. It's the middle of October and I decided to sit down with my journal this morning and film me like figuring out what my November goals were going to be because it is a little early, probably about a week to 10 days earlier than I would normally consider doing this. But um, I wanted to think about my goals because I'm trying to decide whether I want to commit to NaNoWriMo this year or not. I'm leaning towards no because I think it's unrealistic and I would just be setting myself up for disappointment. Sorry, the baby's trying to add her two cents. She's over here with me. There she is. Anyway, um, so I wanted to sit down with my journal and just think about what other goals I had. And looking at it, it does seem like I'm probably not going to do NaNoWriMo. So I actually set a goal of 25,000 words in November, which is actually pretty ambitious considering I haven't written much in months. Maybe like a couple thousand words here or there. But anyway, um, so that's basically what this video is. And I wasn't going to do like a talk through of me doing it because it seems pretty pretty self-explanatory. I just split up, um, I just came up with some categories that I thought I would have some goals in and put those out. I used some stickers for decoration per usual and I just kind of like thought about what things I wanted to accomplish or get on track with in November. Um, I have ADHD and so I have a tendency to only not only succeed, but I more, most, most frequently, more frequently succeed at different goals and tasks when I'm hyper fixated on it. So it's like all into one thing and only can do that one thing. Like everything else falls by the wayside. And I have found that I have been able to accomplish things in my life that way, but like one at a time. And I need to find more balance in my life because obviously my top goal and priority now is going to be t parenting, like to be the best parent, to be the best mom and offer the best that I can to my kiddo. So yeah, me laughing about that. Um, so uh, that would mean I would do nothing else. So I need to find some balance of somehow learning how to accept working on smaller goals rather than it's like all or nothing. So I'm, usually I feel like I'm like all in or all out. So I need to be like, it's okay to be all in, but not balls to the wall, I guess. I don't know how else to put that. But anyway, I'm trying to work on that. So I have some smaller goals for each of the categories, nothing too crazy. Um, and yeah, so I'm just kind of putting those out here. And I figured I would at the same time try this picture in picture and see how that goes. I have watched a couple other YouTubers do it recently and I really like it. I actually prefer it to just like, I could just be talking as I was doing the layout, but I don't think anybody really needs to know exactly why I'm choosing each sticker or whatever and I feel like when I'm doing that that's like the most likely thing to talk about if that makes any sense but anyway um yeah so thanks for watching the rest of this is just kind of me finishing up this layout and let me know if you guys would like to see further breakdowns this is obviously just like an overview of those goals like I didn't go into depth and detail. There's obviously like lots of mini goals underneath them. This was just kind of like, what do I see my month looking like? What things am I trying to focus on? What things am I doing? So if anybody wants to see any planning for any of those specific goals or anything, let me know in the comments because I would be happy to elaborate. I just don't know how much people want to know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Next time.